one has to listen attentively and then act on it acting on it is where the vigyanam comes from hare krishna hare krishna krishna devotee means he should come out of the thinking that i am you know this family is my of course if one is in family life the the sense of i and mine is there but one has to constantly therefore hear ha uh, sthane sthita shruti gatam he has to hear regularly this philosophy he is not just hear listen hear means he is going into one ear and coming out of the other you know one has to listen attentively and then act on it acting on it is where the vigyanam comes from because if we just hear and hear and hear but we don't do anything about it then what is the point of hearing what is the point of hearing so we have to actually act on it our attempt to act on it and take uh, association of those devotees who are attempting to act on it and are acting on it that is more important why do we chant the ten offenses every morning so it is important to remember we have to constantly remind ourselves why do we sing samsara davanala we have to remember and actually many devotees just sing the song without knowing the meaning of the song at all it does not carry much weight because if we don't understand what we are singing how glorious the spiritual master is and why we should be indebted to him then we may sing and sing and sing like a parrot but when time comes when the parrot you know is you, if you can you can train the parrot to sing hari krishna but at the time of death he will not understand that he has to chant hari krishna at the time of death when somebody holds his neck he will, ah, ah, he will make that sound he does not understand that he has to chant he has no realization so there has to be both knowledge and realization gyanam and vigyanam uh, so for vigyanam to happen we should know what we are doing 